Welcome to our video. Today, we'll be discussing an unexpected danger lurking in gardens and parks, peacock attacks. As beautiful and majestic as these birds may seem, they can also be aggressive and unpredictable, leading to some scary encounters for both humans and other animals. Join us as we delve into five instances of the attacks that have left people shocked and injured. But first, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. On March 30, 1997, Vikai Thongtao, a 30-year-old man, was feeding his four caged peacocks when one of the male birds suddenly attacked him, clawing his head. At first, Vikai didn't think much of it, but he soon began experiencing severe headaches and fell into a coma. He was rushed to the hospital, where doctors discovered a blood clot in his brain. The clot likely formed due to the injury sustained from the peacock attack, which could have damaged blood vessels and caused the clot to form. Blood clots can be very dangerous, especially when they form in the brain, as they can cause a stroke or other serious health problems. Despite undergoing surgery, Vic Hai passed away the following day, leaving his family and friends in shock and disbelief. The news of the attack and Vishai's death quickly spread, with many wondering how a peacock could cause such harm. Experts explain that male peacocks can become aggressive during mating season and may attack perceived threats or competitors. However, Vishai's family chose not to blame the bird. Instead, they decided to donate all four peacocks, including the one that attacked Vic Hai, to a local zoo. Vishai's father, Sam Chai, stated that the peacock was only acting on its natural instincts, and that they hope the peacocks can live out their lives in a safe environment at the zoo. Becky Giddos and her family were frequent visitors to Painton Zoo, enjoying many fun-filled days together. Just a few weeks prior, they even celebrated Ezra's third birthday there. On Saturday, June 19, the family visited the zoo as usual, hoping for another enjoyable day. However, their plans quickly turned into a nightmare. The incident occurred while Becky and her family were at a picnic area near the ranch within the zoo. According to Becky, the children were simply playing and observing two nearby peacocks without provoking or touching them. Suddenly, one of the peacocks attacked Ezra, the smaller child. The peacock went for him, and there was blood all down his face. His father immediately took charge, and a first aider arrived within five minutes. However, he could not help and instructed the family to take Ezra to the hospital. They filled out an accident form and left their contact number. The family took Ezra to Newton Abbott Hospital, where doctors applied a sterile strip to the wound. Unfortunately, they were unable to stitch the wound due to the risk of infection from an animal attack. As a result, Ezra will be left with a scar on his forehead and is now scared of animals. Despite leaving her contact number, the zoo has not been in touch with Becky since the incident, leaving her frustrated. She believes the zoo should have warned visitors about the aggressive peacocks and criticized the staff's response, stating they were dismissive and unresponsive. She feels angry about the incident and believes it could have been prevented if the zoo had posted warning signs or stopped the peacocks from entering the children's area during mating season. She also thinks that something needs to be done to prevent similar incidents from happening again. Painton Zoo responded to the incident by stating that peacocks are typically not aggressive, but they may occasionally peck people. The zoo has posted warning signs throughout the park, including the picnic area where the attack occurred, advising guests to be cautious and supervise their children. The zoo spokesperson mentioned that a first aider provided professional care to Ezra immediately after the attack and explained that it is standard procedure to gather relevant information before contacting guests after such incidents. Unfortunately, Ezra's attack was not the first at Painton Zoo. In 2018, a six-year-old girl was severely injured after a peacock attacked her. Her family was in an area where visitors are allowed to interact with animals such as goats and rabbits. However, the situation took a turn for the worse when a peacock attacked Jessica. According to her parents, 
the peacock clawed her neck and sliced the end of her nose. The attack was severe enough to send her to the hospital, where she spent several hours getting her wound glued. Guy Redfern, her father, believes that the zoo should display better warning information to prevent similar incidents from happening in the future. The family claims that the zoo's response to their daughter's ordeal was wishy-washy. Mr. Redfern expressed his disappointment with the zoo's casual approach to the incident. He was asked to fill out accident forms as they were leaving, which he thought was a waste of time. He believes that it was more important to get his daughter to the hospital than to fill out forms. Although Jessica has recovered from her injuries, the experience was traumatic for her and her family. Mr. Redfern insists that the incident could have been prevented if there were signs warning children not to approach the peacocks. He also notes that from a child's perspective, the peacocks are in the petting area, and they may not know that they are not supposed to approach them in the same way they do with the goats. Painton Zoo says that two first aiders responded quickly to the incident and treated Jessica professionally. However, the zoo's response was not enough for Mr. Redfern. He thinks that the zoo needs to do more to ensure the safety of its visitors, especially children. On November 28, 2021, a shocking incident took place in Sarangoon Garden. A three-year-old girl was severely injured on her face when a pet peacock attacked her on Sunday. The young girl, accompanied by her father and brother, was on her way back home from playing at House Park in Sarangoon Garden. While passing by a house, she paused to appreciate the beauty of a peacock. Suddenly, the peacock charged out and attacked her. The girl's father, Ju Han, immediately rushed towards her and tried to carry her away. In the process, he scraped his left knee and elbow on the pavement while shielding his daughter from the peacock's attack and hitting the bird with his right arm. The peacock then charged towards them a few more times. The owner of the pet peacock came out of the house and pulled the bird back by its tail. Mr. Han said that he was taken aback by the peacock's aggressive behavior, as he had often seen peacocks walking around calmly in the zoo. The little girl suffered severe cuts on her face and was immediately taken to a hospital for treatment. The incident has left the family shaken, and they are now calling for more cautionary measures to prevent such incidents from happening again. Neighbors in the surrounding area expressed their surprise at the incident, as they had never known the peacock to behave violently. The owner would often allow the bird to walk around, and people would stop to take photos of it. Mr. Tan Jim Chong, the chairman of the Nature Society's bird group, warned that peacocks can be aggressive animals. They may attack anything they consider a threat to their territory. On the next incident, a two-year-old was attacked by a peafowl at Utah's Hogel Zoo. The zoo used to have free-roaming peafowl until a lawsuit was filed in March 2021, alleging that one of the birds attacked four children over two days in April. The family of the two-year-old claimed that the peacock attacked their toddler during their visit, as well as two other children the day before, and another child later that same day. In response to the alleged attack, the zoo's animal care team and safety staff captured and relocated all free-roaming peafowls. A peafowl is a mixed group of peacocks and peahens, and they are known for their striking appearance and colorful plumage. Peafowl are commonly found in zoos and wildlife parks, and they are often a popular attraction for visitors. However, these birds can be quite loud and territorial, and they may become aggressive if they feel threatened. The zoo's spokesperson, Marilyn Sung, stated that the peafowl were rehomed, but there is no information on their removal date, new location, or potential return. The lawsuit alleges that the incident caused the two-year-old to endure pain and suffering, emotional distress, scarring, and disfigurement. According to the family, the mother had taken the young girl out of her stroller to walk alongside her siblings when a peacock supposedly flew in front of them. The family asserts that the zoo employees had informed them about another child who was attacked by a peacock on the same day, as well as two children who were attacked the day before. At least one of those children required medical care, according to the lawsuit. The complaint alleges that the same bird was responsible for all the attacks and accuses the zoo of negligence. 
The family also claims that the zoo is liable for the incidents because the staff did not subdue or sequester the dangerous bird. As we conclude our video, it's important to always exercise caution when around peacocks and respect their boundaries. While these types of attacks are relatively rare, it's crucial to understand the risks and take the necessary precautions. We hope you found this video informative and learned something new. Please don't forget to hit the like button, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest videos. Thank you for watching.